And I'm so excited that this series is revisiting the beloved character of Franklin. So my first question is for Craig, what do you hope this special adds to Franklin's legacy and to the broader Peanuts universe? Hi, I'm Franklin. I've lived in a lot of different places. My family is always on the move. This was it, our new town. Do you want to have... <laughs> Excuse me, making new friends can be hard. I'm Franklin Armstrong. My name is Charlie Brown. Well, I think what it does, it really brings Franklin right off the page of the comic strip for those that read it and, and see what a well-rounded, nice kid he is and that pretty, pretty much anybody would love to have Franklin as their, as their buddy, as Charlie Brown discovers in the special. You know, he's had to deal with all these crazy friends in his neighborhood and now this kid comes in the neighborhood he's never met before. Franklin doesn't know anything about Charlie Brown, so Charlie Brown's got a clean slate. He's like, hey, this kid does not know all my flaws. And Charlie Brown doesn't know if he has any at all. And they form this relationship the way any two kids, do, kids would do. Yeah. I think it's a great thing to tell. And I think it's a universal story, as are all the Peanuts stories. They're universal. The Big Soapbox Derby race is coming to town. The winning team gets a trophy and free pizza for a whole year. What do you think, Charlie Brown? Partners? Partners. Speaking of universal, I feel like the Peanuts has this resonating theme of your vibe attracts your tribe. And I feel like Franklin discovers that with this special. So my next question is for Rob. Um, can you discuss your process in developing Franklin's storyline and ensuring that it stayed true to his essence while also offering something fresh and engaging? I like the, the way you structured your question because it's, it's, it feeds right into my answer. I am not responsible for inventing or creating anything from whole cloth. Sparky Schultz brought this character to this world. Sparky Schultz, however, would often acknowledge that he had limitations when it came to developing Franklin. And as a result of it, Franklin was underdeveloped, even, even in Sparky Schultz's opinion. So when I came into um, Schultz's orbit and he, he contacted me and he, he said, I want to name Franklin after you and give him your last name. This was 1994. And I was a new cartoon. My whole career was four years old. I just thought, am I hearing things? Like, what is this? This is the best cartoonist in the world, period. The most iconic cartoonist in the world. Telling you, asking you, if you can name, he can name a character after you. I just felt overwhelmed almost. And never, I said, sure, I'm honored and all that, but I just felt unworthy of it. I don't feel unworthy of it now. I don't. This special, this special is my gift back to Sparky Schultz. My little contribution to this amazing team, with Craig Schultz, Brian Schultz, his son, Neil Juliano, this contribution, no matter how small, is huge because the special itself is going to change things. My grandpa always says, you gotta want it to get it. Let's see what we can really do. Friendships are not perfect, but we can get through the rough spots together. <laughs> A best friend is someone that you can totally trust. <laughs> that always has your back. I believe we've created uh, something of a masterpiece. I really mean it. It's so beautiful. I'm, I mean, I'm so honored to be a part of it. And I just love it. I can barely get through it without crying. But I think it's, it's just going to reach people and make this world a better place. And we need it. We need it right now. Well, listen, just watching the preview alone gets one excited, especially if you're a longtime devoted fan of the Peanuts franchise. So my next question is for either one of you. How did you balance honoring the legacy of this franchise while creating something new and relevant for modern, modern audiences? Well, that's one of the fun things to do, I think, is to kind of go outside the box of what, what we've seen in the Peanuts universe in the past. You know, and, and that's what Brian and me and Neil explore, you know, in depth to do, to do that. And Frank is one, one of the classic examples. That's the character, that's, that's, he's one of the most beloved characters in the comic strip. We kind of rate like who gets the most attention. And he's <laughs> right there at the top. People want to know more and more about Franklin. So that's why we decided to craft a story on Franklin to get that out there and, and show the people what he's really, kind of really more what he's all about and where he came from. Yeah, the kids and today, We'll, we'll benefit from him too. He's, he's, he's really connects emotionally. He's not a modern child. He doesn't walk around with a cell phone and all that. 
He doesn't listen to hardcore rap. Right? Like he's just a real connected, emotionally connected young human being. I think that kids today will benefit from seeing that for sure. And he likes James Brown. And he digs James Brown, baby. He loves James Brown. <laughs> We saved you a seat over here. You know you found your home when you're surrounded by good friends.